Today I will be reviewing Prushka, Made in Abyss, Golden City of the Scorching Sun, Lendroid. So I just showed you what she looks like still in her box, and here's how she looks like while she is still in her package. Here is a closer look of the Lendroid. So far, the painting and the sculpt on this Lendroid seem to be very clean. Here I am using the flash so you can have a better look of the details of this figure. It does have a nice hint of blue shading under her front hair piece. We're moving on to her two extra face plates that she comes with. Mia. It's a closer look of Mia. Again, very nicely painted, very nice sculpt. And then we have some extra arms. The white whistle. That is actually for Rico. And we have a hand that holds those protein bars. Here is the final result. So this is how I have her set up. There it seems to be a bit of a faint magnet on top of her hat for Mia to sit on. Really cool feature if that is the case. It does feel like there is a magnet there. Again, um, just from looking at the Nendroid, I don't see any issues in the quality control at all. And before I forget, here are the usual extra pieces. We do have a stand included for Mia. If you don't want to put it on the normal Nendroid base or on the hat. The extra spare neck joint, the stand and base for the Nendroid as well. And now for Rico, so I have my Rico here. As you can see, I removed the red whistle because I replaced it with the white whistle that is included with Prushka. So here is a closer look of the whistle. It's not as detailed compared to the original anime and manga version. It's understandable because of how small and tiny it is. But yeah, here you can see I have it displayed on Rico. And just another close-up of Prushka. Um, again, very nice detail. I like the shading slash highlight that is on her hair. So here's a better look of that nice blue hue that is on her hair. She's definitely a very cute Nendroid. And here is another look at the back of her. The hat it has very nice detail. Same does her dress. And another closer look at Mia. So as you can see, we do have a spot to plug the stand in. And Mia herself is also very cute as well. And this is how I have all the four characters displayed together. The only other character that I don't have is Vapuda. And I'm definitely not planning on getting Bondru because I don't like his character. But when I get around to seeing or reading season 2 and if I like the Puda character, I will pick up her Nendroid as well. And anyway, that's all for my review of Prushka. I made free collects out.